President Trump is reigniting his culture war with the Democratic Congresswoman of Color known as the Squad. I think it would be a terrible thing, frankly, for Israel to let these two people who speak so badly about Israel come in. And they have become, amazingly, the face of the Democrats. The president is now supporting Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu's decision to block Representatives Ilhan Omar and Rashida Tlaib from entering Israel, tweeting, they hate Israel and all Jewish people, and there is nothing that can be said or done to change their minds. They are a disgrace. But that's not true. The congresswomen have never said they hate Israel and all Jewish people. The president's tweet came just before a statement from Netanyahu laying out his reason to bar the congresswoman, saying their plan is only to damage Israel and to foment against Israel. I think my social media statement pretty well speaks for itself. I feel that uh, they are so anti-Israel, so anti-Jewish. Again, if other people made that statement, they would have been held to pay. So, but I did speak to people over there, yeah. Before the president's tweet, the White House denied Mr. Trump was urging Netanyahu to ban the congresswoman, saying that was inaccurate. Democrats are railing against the move. It's an insult to the American people. Representative Tlaib and Representative Omar are equal members of the United States Congress. It's Mr. Trump's latest attack on Omar after some of his supporters chanted she should be sent back to her native country of Somalia at a rally last month. And obviously and importantly, Omar has a history of launching vicious anti-Semitic screeds. And she talked about the evil Israel, and it's all about the Benjamins. Not a good thing to say. In response to Israel's decision, Omar fired back, saying in a statement, the irony of the only democracy in the Middle East making such a decision is that it is both an insult to democratic values and a chilling response to a visit by government officials from an allied nation. Both Omar and Tlaib, who is Palestinian-American, have drawn criticism for supporting a movement to boycott Israel over some of its policies. I can tell you they're all around college campuses. Um, there are Jews, Muslims, Hindus, all different kinds of backgrounds who are pushing back against racist policies in Israel because they see that um, the human rights violations of children being detained, uh, the fact that my grandmother who lives in the West Bank right now does not have equality. She doesn't have freedom of travel. But even the powerful pro-Israel lobby APAC opposes Netanyahu's decision, saying, we believe every member of Congress should be able to visit and experience our democratic ally Israel firsthand. Democrats say the president's push for Israel to ban the congresswoman is nothing more than a distraction from a wobbly week on Wall Street that raised concerns a recession could be on the horizon. We saw him go off the rails yesterday. Now today it's this. It'll be something tomorrow. And the more the heat gets cranked up and the more this economy softens, the less he's going to be able to, to keep his stuff together.